a shout out to G Holla and S. Hey, G Holla, G dot Holla. Hero, G E Holla. Shout out to me to God here, man. Well, y'all said in the Taylor, shout out my guy, G Holla. Of my what music inspired you as you were coming of age into your own? Oh, my gosh. Um, that's a great question. So, growing up, my mother, you know, of course, you always tend to listen to the music that your parents listen to. So there was a lot of Gladys Knight and the Pips, a lot of, you know, Patti LaBelle, um, a lot of gospel music. We were not allowed to listen to any secular music on Sundays. So Clark Sisters, um, oh, what is his name? Um, there were so many old school gospel music. I can't even think of the name of this gentleman right now, but there was so much. Um, but as I started, you know, Coming into my own, it was Prince, Madonna, Vanity Six, New Kids on the Block. Um, mm. Man, I listened to a lot of uh, um, Rod Stewart, uh, Layla Hathaway, Regina Bell. Um, man, who else did I listen to? There was so much music in my life. The DeBarges, and of course, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're, you know, that's family, so. You know, there's just a, a great deal of music. I, there was really, honestly, at the end of the day, there was not um, any genre of music that I didn't listen to once I had the ability to just, you know, get away from my mom saying, okay, we couldn't listen to this, when she finally, you know, took off, you know, the the chain, so to speak. It was like, okay, I'm running to listen <laughs> to this music and that music, and I listened to everything, rock music, R&B, um, opera, classical. I listened to all of it. I love all of it, and especially when you're an artist, it's important to open yourself to to listen to and receive other, you know, genres of music because it only makes you better. That that's true, I, and I love that about you. I, I I'm serious. I don't remember seeing on the interview. I never met him, but I remember seeing like Tupac was talking about how he loved like Sade, and most people thought that was like the greatest contradiction. It was like, oh, no, you're making all this sound music and you listen to something that's soft and shade. And that's amazing that you cross genres yourself, listening to other love ballads, R&B, pop, classical music. That is really amazing. It, I, I see now the temperament and the instruments that you are made of that's inside of you that, that, um, that vibrates and that elevates in you. And that's why even your music is even timeless because you can put some of your songs on to this day. And people who probably wasn't of age are dancing to it. Like, they're making remix videos to a lot of, like, the hits from the 90s, which I refer to as the golden era. Now, I in your life, that. You, you are. You, you are that thing. You're very divine. And you're Thank like, you. looking back at it now, did you foresee any of this in, in your career? No. No, not at all. Um I was just doing, you know, living and doing what it was I was supposed to do, um, really not focusing on the future because when you're not present to win, you lose. You know, you're, you're so focused on who you want to become and, who, you know, what you want to do and how you want to do it that you're not focusing on what you need to do to get there. Mm. So by no means, I, you know, and it's always a beautiful thing to dream. It, it definitely is, but don't get so caught up in dreaming that you forget to do what's necessary in the present moment to get to that point. 